Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the city, actually the island of Ndare, also known as Saint Louis, in the Senegal River on the Atlantic coast of West Africa. And today we are on our way to a restaurant where we are gonna cook a dish called Yassa Poulet which is one of the main, one of the most famous dishes of Senegal. It's chicken, especially with a lot of onions, and we're gonna watch the entire process of how it's made. And so then after we eat the yasa pule, then we're gonna drive into the desert to the sand dunes. We're gonna stay for the night and also enjoy dinner there. So that's the plan for the day, and I'm gonna share all of the delicious food coming up with you right now in this video. the entranceway and then it kind of opens up into a courtyard. Beautiful place. Wow, nice place. Nice and peaceful. So quiet in here. The kitchen is over at the back, uh, which is where we're going to be cooking and then we'll eat right here in the courtyard. Laying out all the ingredients, we've got a whole chicken, some limes, garlic, onions are important, and rice. Mustard and vinegar also. <laughs> so this is local rice from, from, from this region? From, from San Luis. Okay. And now at first we cut the chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. For four pieces. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the two most important things about this dish chicken and the onions, but some of the seasonings that are gonna go into is mustard, pepper, salt, vinegar, limes, garlic, and then, of course, eaten with local rice. Onions, okay, after so we cut it. Okay. I love the onions in Senegal. <laughs> it's local onions. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Very tasty. Very tasty, yes. Now you have the onions. Onions. Full bucket of onions. That's what I like to see. A full bucket of onions. But this is truly one of the key ingredients of almost all Senegalese food. Okay. So the chicken goes into the bucket of onions. If you eat uh, yasa, the main test must be lemon. Oh, okay. Yes. So it has to be sour. Yes, the, sour main, the, the main test. Okay, great. It must, it must be lemon. Great. So that's how you use a lot of, <laughs> a lot of lemon juice mm -hmm. for this recipe. And now garlic, okay. Oh, that smells amazing. Just vinegar? Oh yes, just a little. Because the lemon is oh, okay. Very the lemon is already ah, sour. Okay. Soul. Oh yes, black pepper. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the garlic and onions. Oh, what a recipe already. Okay, so we're moving, moving to the, the stove now. I make oil. 
Okay. For the rice. All right. So we've got two different pots going. One, she's got some oil that's gonna start to boil and that's gonna be for the, for the chicken, fry the chicken. And then the other one, she's boiling some water, a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt for the rice. The chicken, okay. I make the chicken. Wow, Bismillah. It's gonna, yeah. Oh yeah. Now that chicken hits the oil. Oh man, that smells great. You smell the lime juice really like perfuming the air with all of that garlic caked onto the chicken, black pepper dusted on. Ooh. Is this local rice? Yeah. Oh. Time for the rice. Okay. 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 Chicken is frying, the rice is on. We're still waiting to see how the onions are gonna be incorporated, but so far smells delicious. Home cooking, Diana is just telling us that it's a very easy recipe. It's quick to make, but of course you need the experience, you need to know how to make it. Okay, chicken comes out. Fried chicken is ready. Oh, wow. Now the bucket of onions. <laughs> yes. You don't make the juice at so this moment. Don't put okay. the juice in, but save it for later. Okay. If you want to have a good color, I, I say. Okay. But <laughs> if you want but the good color is the important. If the color is not your problem, you can make all. Okay. Okay. But the good color is important, right? Very important. How it looks. <laughs> How it looks is very, very important. important. Yes. It's presentation. Presentation yeah. is very important. Okay. Yes. And the color is very nice. Yeah. Okay. Look at the color. Yeah, golden brown. And if you add, the, if you have. Add the, the, water. the water before. Yes. You can't have this. Oh, okay. Oh, now you re put the chicken back in. Uh -huh. Into the bed of onions. <laughs> wow. But it's not enough uh, fry, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because the fry is just to, uh -huh. to get that skin, right? To get that golden uh -huh. brown. Okay, last if I'm going to not fully cooked cook yet. Oh, and here comes the juice. Okay. The onion the juice. juice. The tasty okay. juice goes in. Okay. Yes. Okay. The guana goes in. Okay. The best. More lemon juice. Oh, here comes the mustard. Uh huh. This is like a Dijon mustard. Yes. It's a yes, spicy. Yes, yes. It's a spicy mustard. Very spicy. Okay. For the chili. The guana. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another, how long does it cook for? Cuisson. Cuisson. 
minutes. Oh, for 40 minutes, okay. So it kind of stews together. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> the smile of approval. <laughs> Lid goes on, and that's going to simmer for about 40 minutes or so. So all the juices are going to come together. Wow, that sauce. Oh, these are the baobab fruits? Mm -hmm. When you cut the fruit, you break the fruit inside, you have these. Uh, oh, okay. Flush. You do a milkshake, you take off the oh, seeds. Okay. Is it, uh, is it dried already? Or this, dried, is, yes. this is dried, okay. Dried, yes. The dried baobab fruit mm -hmm. from the inside. Mm -hmm. So while the yasa is cooking, Diana is going to make baobab juice. And so this comes from the fruit of the baobab tree, which is um, one of the, I mean, one of the ultimate trees of Senegal. And this comes from the fruit, which are little pods, but then opened up and it has this kind of, whoa, they're really light, really light, almost feel like, like pumice. But these are the dried pulpy inside of the baobab fruit. Water. Okay. Because there's so much milkiness within the baobab fruit, this frothy milkiness comes out of it. <laughs> Papi, what did you say about baobab juice? Baobab juice is a medicine. When you have stomach mm -hmm. problem, you drink one glass, you heal. If you drink three glass, you constipate it for three months <laughs> and a half. <laughs> three months and a half. <laughs> so I should only drink one cup? <laughs> or I'm yeah. on my own. Yeah. If I drink more than one cup, I'm on my own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juices, the onions, mm -hmm. the chicken juice, they're all, they've all been mingled together. The thickness of it, the onions are starting to melt into the sauce. Caramelize. Look at the oil. The oil. Uh -huh. Surfacing. Now Diana is going to serve it out into the tray. Sure. Yes, and one fresh raw guana on top. Beautiful. You can wash here. Sure. Thank you, Fabi. Again, this is one of the national dishes of Senegal, a very popular dish. You'll find it around the country. Diana has done an amazing job making it. The aroma of that mustard and onions, the guanas on top, those chilies, and the chicken. Oh, oh, and Diana is joining us. Yes. Oh, what a dish. Oh, we're going in. Oh, you're going in. Grab some of the rice, the squeeze technique. So Diana, you, you, take, you make a ball, right? Let's squeeze it with onions. Wow, wow. Squeeze it in your home. 
Don't swallow your, swallow your so, yeah, so, so you, don't, you don't touch your fingers, and you just have the, the ball of rice with the onions. Okay. Mm. You don't, you, you don't mm. swallow your fingers. You don't touch your mouth with your fingers. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, man. The flavor, the sourness <laughs> of the lime juice, the sourness of the lime juice and the mustard just like powers through. Oh, it's like a okay. fried chicken. Okay, thank you, Diana. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. She actually, okay. Me actually, <laughs> okay, yeah, Diana is actually busy. She, she needs to get back to the kitchen to cook. There's some other customers here, so she just wanted to have a quick bite with us, but thank you to Diana again for cooking, for her hospitality, for this incredibly delicious yasa. Wow. All the onions are just incredible until you've got a, a ball. And man, you, you can really like, like kind of rotate it, squeeze it, get a good, oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Diana had mentioned that the first taste that you should taste is the lime juice. The, just a, squeeze, a little squeeze of vinegar, but mainly it's the lime juice and the juice of the onions and that mustard. This is an amazing dish. So Papi, is this a dish that everybody loves? Yes. Like around the country, it's all over meal. Senegal. It's a daily meal. It's a daily meal. Mix it with onions. Every bite has to get... Oh, and the... Indeed. The guana. The guana. The guana. This is the one that's been steamed yes. already with the, with the dish. And then we have a raw guana as well. I'm going to mix it with the bite of chicken. Oh, the juice. Oh. Immediately as you pop open those guanas, just the aroma, the fumes come out. Yes. The spice fumes. Chicken. Rice. Mingle it in your... Your palm. Mm. The chicken was sautéed in that oil before then being simmered with the stew and the onions. So it has that kind of crunchy, like, brown edge that increases the flavor. Ho, 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 ho. And the guana. Oh, man. That just, yeah, the heat is starting to build. But it has this amazing fruitiness. I mean, the guana is not only about the, the heat, but it's also so much about the flavor and that like fruitiness of him. It's pepper? No, it's guana. It's guana. <laughs> guana, you tried it? It's the guana. <laughs> Micah, did you have some guana? <laughs> Moving into the, the fresh guana. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. This shit. Mm. Yeah. They're even stronger than the boiled one. <laughs> just the fumes go up your nose. The chili peppers here are just insanely spicy and fresh and natural. It's just a straight up fire in your mouth when you start biting into the guana. Wow. We'd almost forgot about the, the baobab juice. Now would be the time. Natural baobab, Very no nice. sugar. No sugar. Very good, Diana. Thank you, Amazing. Diana. Amazing. Daddy, this. So, and this is uh, baobab juice without sugar. Mm. Natural. Really? So you feel the flavor. Ah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's kind of milky yeah. and creamy. Mm. It has a tamarind flavor to me also, like a sourness. Unsweetened, but that's enough sweetness from the natural fruit. And again, this is like all natural, nothing added. It's a superfood. It's healthy. So good, I want to drink two glasses, but I'm a little bit scared of two glasses. <laughs> I'm on my own. I'm on my own if I drink another glass of this. Really? I think I might risk it. <laughs> Santé, Santé, Santé. Oh, that's really good. It's, a, it's an antibiotic. An antibiotic too. Yes. Great. Rich with um, C vitamins. Oh yeah, full of C vitamins, right? Full of C vitamins, okay. yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, puppy. Chicken okay. Wing, yeah. Chicken wing, oh, nice. But if you drink two cups, you're, you don't know what, you're on your own, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm. Because the way that it's been fried and then stewed, the chicken is so tender. And at the same time, it totally retains all of the natural juices. And it just, I mean, it absorbs even more. Yeah, that is insane.
insane heat from that guana. Oh, thank you. Oh, that fresh squeeze of lime into every bite. Mm. It makes it so refreshing. Wow. It's like it just keeps getting better and better. I've decided to risk it for the second cup. Oh, that's just so refreshing. It's the perfect thing to drink following a massive platter of food, yasa pule. Oh, that was just outstanding. And it is, it's not that complicated of a recipe. It's just the process, it's the strategy. I mean, there's so much love put into this dish as well, but it was, the flavors are extraordinary. That acidity, the onions, the lime juice, the mustard, and it's just a pure harmony of flavor in your mouth all at once. And I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. But it is a superfood full of vitamins. That's the perfect way to end. Thank you very much. This was amazing. This was amazing, yes. Okay, thank you. This was incredible. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. You are very kind. Okay. Yes. Wow. I am stuffed and happy, and my mouth is still on fire from the guanas. <laughs> okay, the restaurant, uh, Diana's restaurant, is again, it's called Ndar Savur. In Indar Savur here in Indar, right in the island. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you much. Oh, We're back in the car now. We're on our way driving from Ndare, St. Louis to the desert, the sand dunes of Senegal. Ooh. Oh, Michael, we here. Oh, we have a ride. Hello, Nangadef. And so we're actually going to be taking a jeep into the campsite where we're going to continue with this tour today. We've got about a 15 minute drive through the desert to get to the lodge. Oh my God. The breeze coming from the desert is surprisingly cool. And this is like straight up Dakar Rally. Yes. bumpy, wonderful ride. Welcome to the Echo Lodge in the sand dunes of Senegal. It is beautiful. Man, and we got here on a perfect day. It's kind of cloudy and cool. You can. Oh, yes. It's a tent, it's a permanent tent, but it's still pretty natural, made of canvas, made of cloth. Beds are in the center. There's mats on the sand for the floor. And then if you come past this barrier here, this is the bathroom. Yeah, there's a sink here. I love this shower situation. Running water with the tarp in the middle to, oh, it kind of just goes straight into the sand. That's amazing. And then there is a toilet at the back here too. We're gonna relax for a little bit and then at 5 p.m. we're gonna go for a camel ride. And then after that, we're gonna cook a dish here at the lodge that is a dish common within this area that we're gonna have for dinner. Oh, wow. Oh, is that cool breeze looking out at the clean dunes. Oh, what a, what a little oasis in the desert. This is beautiful. Ah, it's so peaceful. <laughs> oh yeah, it's 
it's always a little bit of a bump, bumpy ride getting up onto a camel. And once you're up here, oh, it's so great. Hi, Micah. Hello, you, Micah. Hello. Oh, man. Camels are just so graceful and incredible how they can retain so much water in the dunes and navigate the dunes. A caravan. Zebu, these are Zebu. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, goodbye, camels. Maxi. Oh, you always gotta do a little bit of stretching after you ride a camel. That wide stance. So it's time for dinner at the Ico Lodge. We're sitting in one of the tents because actually if you go outside, the wind is really strong, so you eat inside. And uh, Papi was telling me about this vegetable soup that they serve here, which looks really good with carrots with some of the local bread. So we're digging into the soup for dinner tonight. Ah, and it actually gets cold once the sun goes down. Mm. Oh, really nice. Lots of carrots, a little bit of potato in here. Maybe some thyme, but really just like soothing vegetable soup. Mm. I love the sweetness from the carrots. Couscous. It's vegetables, there's lamb and chicken, and then the sauce. A little bit of lamb, yeah. Oh yeah, the vegetables. Nice. So outside they have started the drum drumming, traditional drumming. So we'll, have, we'll eat real quickly and then we'll have a chance to go see outside as well. But for dinner tonight, they're serving couscous. This is a different type of couscous from what we've had in the south of Senegal. This is the North African style couscous made from wheat, served with an amazing stew with chicken, with lamb, with a bunch of vegetables, and then with the gravy, the broth from that meat, I believe. It smells so good. Actually, the food here is fantastic. Those are the carrots, the sweet carrots as well. Oh, thank you. Yes with the reed juice, make it soupy. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Oh yeah. Mm. I love how the couscous is so fluffy and it just kind of absorbs all of that flavor. You taste tomato, you taste bell peppers, carrots in there. Tender lamb, spoon tender lamb. Mm. Oh, the lamb. Oh, thank you, Bobby. It's good with a lot of broth, yeah. Couscous have to be wet. Have to be wet, okay. And I really like the vegetables too, which again have just been like slow braised in that, that broth and meat juice until fall apart tender. Mm. Delicious.
was an amazing dinner. The drumming to end tonight was incredible. They're so talented. Those beats, the rhythm. Oh, what another incredible day in Senegal. And then if you haven't watched more videos in this Senegal series, we're traveling around Senegal eating some of the greatest food, some incredible food, the hospitality, the people have been amazing. And I'll have the link in the description box. Be sure to watch more videos from the Senegal series. You don't wanna miss the food. But that's gonna be it for today. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from the Lampul Desert in Senegal. And I will see you on the next video.